Hey guys, my name is Sankazua and I welcome you to another episode of my How to Build a Redstone ALU tutorial. In today's episode we are going for a little bit of a repetition of the memory cell episode of the ALU tutorial because we are going to talk about this thing and this is a part of our random access memory. To be exact, those are 8 memory cells of, out of our RAM and we will need a total of 64 or so quite a build intensive episode even though you of course only need to build a single memory cell and hook uh, copy and paste it with um, MC edit so let's quickly go over them and after that I'm going to tell you what we're going to do with those cells so we've got the basic memory cell right here as you guys can see the output is not inverted this time just because we already have an invert operation when we transfer the signal from those lines to the main output line which is the yellow one down here and nevertheless we of course got a little setup where we can see the uh, contents of our memory cells and on the other side we've got our main input line and the main input line just duplicates the signal via those torches up to this um, thing right here and yeah, as you guys can see, this uh, signal just goes into our main input uh, or basic input torches, so nothing new there. The controls for that aren't new either. We've got the same uh, torches, always keep the output torches inverted um, technique that we already used with the ALU several times. And of course, for the input line, uh, there's also a signal going up to our reset line so if I for example give this a little bit of an input here like for example uh, that single bit right here and you guys can see this torch here is inverted and this is for every single memory cell and then I just will press this button the thing will reset and just the single bit that we put into the input line here will change its state. So that's basically it. I don't really know what else to say. I don't want to um, rig all of them up or wire all of them up completely because it's a fairly built intensive episode especially if you're not familiar with map editors like MC Edit yet. So I think that should be it for today's episode. In, to, in the next episode, we are going to rig this entire thing up and uh, wire it up to the um, main program counter down there. And of course, next episode, it's not going to be eight memory cells, but it's going to be a total of 64 with a couple of those groups stacked on top of each other. So look forward to that. If you liked today's episode, please leave a comment, rate or subscribe and I will hopefully see you guys in the next episode.